Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 30 of, or 29, because I can, I don't know. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's prom. 2136, earliest possible day of full boom. Um, I feel like I, oh, wow. I, I was just saying, I feel like I've done this on a contest recently. And as you can see, uh, I, uh, wow. Uh, all right, that, that, I didn't see that much of it, though. I did see the sorting of it, so that's a little bit sad because uh, that's a little bit of a spoiler. I don't eh, just want to see the timing. I guess it was only uh, eight, nine months ago, so I guess it's still in my cookie or whatever they, however they store it. Um, but that's a little bit unfortunate. A little bit of a spoiler, but let's kind of see what we can do. Sorry, friends. Usually I keep it fresh. And to be honest, I don't even know that I remember this poem. But now I, I, I'm spoiled, so my bad friends, because I usually try to, you know, um, do it live, you know, do it new and all this stuff. And I have a bad enough memory that I don't usually remember it unless it's something memorable. But anyway, all right, let's get started. Uh, yeah, so, okay. So you have ends and flowers, you have plant time and grow time. Plant time is grow, plant the seed. Okay, I think that like yeah, I probably did this during the contest or something. Um, okay, so basically you have planning time and then grow time. Um, can I do binary search? I guess sorting is the thing because I cheated. Sorry, friends. Um, yeah, and the way that you assume the sort is that. My guess, if I have to guess, is that um, usually these kind of problems smells way much like um, uh, the exchange argument, right? Meaning that, okay, let's say we have uh, this thing. Um, so then, yeah, and then the question is, do we do one, two first or four, three first, right? Um, hmm. What is this? Every day you can work on planting one seed. Don't... Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry, I, I'm done I'm, because I'm, I'm looking at this and also this, and it looks a little bit weird. But I think you can also do like um, uh, a, a sort of a transfer property, right? What I mean by that is that here, uh, for example, in this example two, effectively, it doesn't make sense because you can always com convert uh, the day zero and the day one. So it, it always, for me, in a greedy kind of way, it always makes sense for you to plan everything consecutively um, because, because of the, uh, I wouldn't say contradiction, but the reverse argument that if you've done it the other way, um, you, ex you, you prolong two different things versus one thing you want to get out as early as possible. Almost like a mini exchange argument, if you will. Um, so I, I, I think that's why um, once we do that, then we can do the exchange argument on the plant days, right? And then the question is, well, if I plant one um, plus, so if I plant, uh, let's say this is A and this is B. If I plant A, B, then I have one, f four, hmm, how do I visualize this? So basically you have this, right? You have um, you plan A, you plan one, two, three, four, um, and then I don't know, uh, uh, and then three things later it it goes right. There's also like you know, two things for A, and then the exchange argument is the other way where if you plan four first, one, two, three, um, and then A, and then two, then this is better, right? Because of the exchange argument, unless I misunderstood something, um, yeah. And because of that, then we want this one first. And that's basically the exchange argument. Yeah. And and with the exchange argument, if I'm doing it correctly, and I might not be, um, then now we can sort it that way. Assuming that it is transitive, uh, meaning that, you know, this relationship of A, comparing A and B, if you have another C, then it always is that if 
if A did do, 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 do and B did do, 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 then A did do, 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 right? So that's transitive property. Assuming that holds. I don't know if that holds. You probably have to do a proof on it, but that's basically what I'm starting from. Um, okay. So now um, I, I like to do it with this way called com to key uh, in Python. And the reason is because um, I'm trying to figure out where it is. Because then I could um, do a comparison instead. Um, meaning that, yeah, I can write it that way in, in a more, um, yeah, comp, right? Something like this. And we just sort, um, hmm, sip, point time, grow time. Um, We want to do a sort. Key is equal to this. And then we have the array, right? Maybe something like that, right? Um, and then we have to write the comp function, which. Um, what is the syntax for this again? Eh. Uh, okay, so maybe something like AB. And as we said, um, so the two ways, right? If A goes first, we have A0 plus B0 plus, um, okay, so either either the B sub one is greater, so we have to take the max of either this or, because um, this is basically saying that um, the B sub one is extend longer or A plus zero plus A plus one, right? So that's that's one of them. Um, so this is if A is first, and then B is first is just similar, but the other way, right? So yeah, so then now we want to do it earlier, so we do something like this. Uh, let me print out R real quick. I'm not confident about it. Um, maybe I'm missing something, but that's the idea. Um, okay. So we have one, four, three. Uh, so we sort it by doing one, and then so then now, the now we just do the sum, which is that um, mm, latest is equal to zero, uh, current is equal to, and this is like the starting time where it's equal to zero. So for um, plant time and grow time in R, um, latest is equal to current plus P plus G, oops, autocomplete, uh, or it's equal to max of the latest and the current G, you know, planning the current thing. And current we added to prime time. So this is the next, you know, prime time. And then we just do return latest. Is that okay? Not confident about this one, to be honest. It's been a while. Um, okay, that looks okay for the, the example. So, so let's give it a submit. And yeah, I think. There may be some worry about if they equal. I think that's the thing. I mean, apparently I got it wrong way quickly. Did I get it right during the contest? Hmm. So I might have, hmm, that's not great. Um, if they equal, do we worry about anything? Let me think about this. I, w I was just a little bit YOLO on the submission, clearly. And of course, now you can see that I've forgotten about, um, forgotten about the original thing because I did a little bit worse. But um, how did I get two four? So I'm doing a small suboptimal one. That basically means that a is equal a one is equal. I think if I have to guess, and that's what I was kind of alluding to, a one is equal to b one. If that's the case, which way do we go? And right now we just kind of assume they're equal, but I don't think that is the case. I think there may be some ordering in which, um, well, that's just not the case, right? So we could print it out real quick. Uh, can I just add this to the thing? Right. Um, so yeah. And then here, Mm, 417, 418, that doesn't even make sense, right? Because if they're at the same time, you want the 18 before the 17. 
So there's definitely some weirdness here. Right, because you want the 18 over the 17. So there's something weird here that we're doing wrong. Hmm. Um, so maybe the transitive property is not being held quite correctly. Um, hmm. So, okay, so I actually might have also messed this up because I think maybe it's this. Because I think maybe, uh, I, I think I'm thinking of another thing where, uh, yeah. So maybe I just did a mistake there on the thing. Let me try it again. I think I was using another language uh, mental syntax and that's why I wasn't sorting correctly. So maybe it's just that. Because um, I was worried about it being zero, but then now maybe it'll be zero is okay. Okay, so. So that was it, actually. I, I, um, I think in another language, I forget which one. Um, you're supposed to return a boolean of if a is less than b, but clearly, um, I, I just messed it up. I mean, it's fine. Eight seconds. That was a little bit slow. What did I? This one's three seconds. How did I do this way? Uh, huh. I guess this makes sense. But, but this is basically me doing the same thing. So maybe it's just more test cases. Um, yeah, and you know, this is just taking out a sub zero and then just taking out b sub zero. Um, hmm. But that is very. So, I mean, we did the exact same code, basically, actually. Um, hmm. Don't know what to say about this one, except for that I, I forgot the syntax for, for compare. And somehow it worked for the example cases. So the example cases are terrible. But. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, this is going to be uh, n log n just from the sorting, and that's pretty much it. Everything is linear. Um, there's going to be O of n uh, space just from uh, O of n space from, you know, sorting and creating, allocating things. But otherwise, pretty straightforward um, in terms of implementation if you get the exchange argument. Um, cool. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. So let me know what you think. Um, stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Let me know what you think. Um, I think if if this one went a little bit fast, do read up on the exchange argument um, for for this kind of sorting thing. Um, it's basically there is it is a greedy type thing where um, you know the logo um, the logo comparison is um, you know globally optimal, and of course, like I said, there are some properties that you have, it has to hold, but that's for most sorting things in general, which I guess is innately uh, greedy, depending on how you mean it. But yeah, um, that's all I have. So let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.